This is instruction on putting together the commentary document for the research paper. The first thing you're going to want to do from your Google Docs page is to create a new document. And uh, you will call that document commentary. So you'll start with your block number, your last name, and then the word commentary. Don't forget to capitalize the first letter of your last name. Once you have that opened, uh, you want to go first of all to your second outline, which should look something like this. Now your second outline, if you remember correctly, is simply the redo of your first outline with your knowledge of the content of your research. So. So once you have copied your outline onto the document, it will look something like this. Then you go to your uh, notes document. Now I'm doing these off of a Word document, but your notes should be on a Google Doc uh, in your, on your file. Uh, you'll want to copy what is on your notes document, and then you're going to want to paste that onto your uh, your commentary document. So now the commentary document looks like this. You have your notes up here, or excuse me, your outline up here, followed by your notes. Then you go to your first note. You will need to decide if you want to use the quotation or if you want to use your uh, a summary or your paraphrasing. So what I'm going to do here, because I think it'll be uh, more, it'll be briefer, is I'm going to take the second part of of this, which is my paraphrase, and I'm going to copy it. Once I have copied what I want to use, I need to find a place in the paper for it. And I think that this one will go under the section of who benefits from charges. So I'm going to paste that in there. Um, then I'm going to go to the next one. And it looks like this is a very long quotation. So I'm going to use this section or uh, I'm going to use again uh, the summary and I'm going to paste it up here um, and I'm going to put it in the same spot. I'm going to go down now to my third note and I'm going to take uh, again my paraphrase and I'm going to put it in uh, the section of who benefits and I'm going to paste it in there and then I'm going to go to the last note and it looks like this is a good quotation uh, and I'm going to want to use it again in the same area um, up here uh, in uh, who benefits now what I need to do is I need to insert the commentary. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to decide how I'm going to make this particular bit of information help me uh, make the case that some people are going to b benefit from neutrality. So what I've put in here is that uh, since this illustrates a cost to be passed on to wireless users, most new years, users will be unfairly targeted. Further, only those with only older technology will avoid extra costs. Neutrality will help keep costs fair for new users. And then that process needs to be repeated for each of the notes. So you move down to the second one. How would you use that to support that section? So now, 
final document will look something like this. So there are two sentences in green of commentary after each note. Now one of the things uh, that it's important to understand here is that you are not eliminating notes from your note list. You're not cutting them out. So that if there is an issue with one of these, perhaps uh, you'll be able to find where it is down here and uh, either make a change to your parenthetical or make a change to the wording in it. In addition, let's take a look at the last one here. Uh, the data is two Republicans are leading the charge against net neutrality. And, uh, oops, there's a period in there that doesn't belong there. Uh, let's take a look at the commentary here. Since Republicans are leading the charge, it could be assumed that their party will gain from contributions by Internet providers. They, in turn, would be more able to utilize an ever more expensive source of advertising. Now, this whole thing seems, at least to me, to be a little far-fetched. So, if I were at the, uh, even though that may be the only connection I could make between the data and, um, and the benefit here, uh, again, that may be the best I can do, but when I come to actually putting the paper together, I probably will want to eliminate that, again, as being a, uh, a bit of a stretch, uh, a logical stretch. So what you're trying to do here is to make your data connect to the sections of your paper, and you should do that with each one of your notes. Uh, thank you.